Onivia, League of Legends highlights. All here. Alternatively, the Oriana is still open. You've got two decent ball carriers for initiation, but it will be the victor in the end. I guess there's also the consideration for the Syndra, which was left open. It's yep. been great with Trindamir, but for it's working. It is definitely working as Ghost is going to rotate back, but there's the knock up from Peanut. Flash out from Ghost. I don't think it's going to get him far enough as the Titan's Wrath comes in, but still the first blood goes over to Peanut. Welcome back, my friend. It's good to have you. Ruler Lahens, man. They are so patient this game. Well, there's another Realm Warp as Sylvie's going to be delivered onto Chovy. Peanut's going to come in. Let's see whether he can actually save his mid lane. The answer is absolutely not. As Sylvie's going to hold and he's tanking up the turret. Great positioning on the Cataclysm from Peanut. It's not like the last series where we're talking about tempo only or can they get ahead. It's really just about how you play these comp styles. Once again, Peanut's paying a visit. Ooh, Deadly Flourish comes down and Peanut just keeps moving in. But it's a great dredge line and the Moonlight Vigil comes down. And yep, Red White, don't fight, my friend. Just gets caught underneath that turret, wandering in casual. Vigil. Yeah, and also um, Peanut not actually buffering the EQ or anything like that, so not able to get that one to work. Is uh, Okay, here's the chase down. Zest looking for it. Another spinning slash. As Dread's going to flash, but it's not going to be enough. Zest has one of those two, and that's a solo kill for the Prince, as you mentioned. And, you know, all the farm that a teleportless graves is going to lose. Well, now the Chaos Storm is here. The ult's going to come through from Sylvie. Looks to try and lock down Chovy here. Ghost walks underneath the turret as well. They're not going to quite find it. Death Ray doesn't get the second shot on Debated E, though. And Chovy can't quite 1v3 He's under his... For just a second, I mean, Sylvie can tank it up. And we'll be able to get the kill. Zest is in danger. Yeah, he's been put in a rune prison. Does pop the ultimate here as he doesn't have flash, remember? Waiting for another spinning slash. Can he kill BDD is the question. The answer is no, but it was pretty dang close. Just trying to mirror things, but he doesn't have flash anymore. Not able to get on top of the wizard in the mid lane as Chovy mm -hmm. is going to turn this into a plate at least. And Ruler gets the bottom side. So what's really cool about this for Genji and why they're still even being down on kills, almost a thousand gold up here and they will be close to it after this crashes through, is because every time Nongshim commit to a gank or commit to a heavy play, the rest of the map is, is Gen G's. They're getting plates elsewhere. They're getting the Jin ahead. They're getting the uh, Victor in this case, some extra gold he needs. Now this will, of course, lead to a Nongshim crash. And this up here in the mid lane. Nongshim going to try and use her in order to knock down this outer turret, and they should be able to do so. Now, Jin G not in position. All five members of Nongshim walk up. They are going to be able to lock that one up. But now it's the fight around Soul Point is OK. BDD, unfortunately, is going to be locked out of the ultimate. And immediately, Peanut's going to follow up. The stopwatch is great and keeps them all in the Chaos Storm. Ghost is flashing away. Zest still has an ultimate, and he's still busy trying to kill everyone. The curtain call comes in. One more bullet will pick off the bear. And Genji win the team fight. They might just take the turret before heading back and getting Soul Point. Oh, this is such an important pick for Genji. They started off right. They end up getting that kill on the BDD. Now they've got Drake Pryo's Peanut. Yeah, fighting an old jungler friend of his. But of course, he's no longer a jungler. Must have been a very confusing uh, Acting situation. Acting like it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> As uh, Zest is down very, very low. Uh, and here's the flanking teleport. So this out of turret is going to fall. Dread. Going to try and fight. Yeah, BDD is going to be able to lock this one down as Dread's not going to die. The Drake does end up falling as Peanut comes over and gives his Trindamir a helping hand. But that was what? Two turrets and a Drake in trade for Ruler overextending? All right. Oh, I'll, give it. It. I'll give Ghost that much, but <laughs> I miss Peter. Okay, here we go. Well, Ghost taking a lot of damage here to start this one off. Zeph caught on the flank, but Chovy's just going to kill Ghost. And now Gen G. Yes, yes. A pick like this. Yeah, or it's the pressure of someone that feels like he has to make all of the decisions and everything like that and, you know, drops the ball a little bit elsewhere. I don't know. I, I don't, but there is a reason for it. Yeah. That's uh, it's kind of uh, the situation they're in because now BDD and Dread are on the bottom side of the map and look at where Gen G are. Exactly. They're on the critical objective, trying to take it out. Some extra shutdown gold here from turrets going over to Nongshim, but... You'll take the prize, which is the Baron. As the teleport comes through, yep. there's that's only turn. one, right? They've, they've still got Graves rotating over. You can see With Toby on a fed Victor. What are you going to do? Yeah, and Zest unseen as he moves towards B to D, but he doesn't even really care about sitting in a brush. It's just Gen G that locked down the Baron. Now they look for the re engage. B to D in trouble. Zest going to get slowed down as Sylvie looks like paper as he's running away. The curtain call is going to get Gale Force, but the flash is going to be used in order to keep the man alive. Ghost is on 
walk about here towards the top side of the map, and Zest is able to take down the Aphelios as well, as now it's between a couple of turrets. I think he should be okay. Dread's going to move on over, see whether he can take him out. Zest also still has the Spinning Slash, so he's fine. Yep, he's fine. Dread's feeling um, like his namesake implies here in this game, as yeah. unfortunately that's not going to go through. He's trying his best. He's trying to stand just honestly in this game. He's, he did so well in the early parts of it. His peanut going in. Yeah, dives on top of BDD, his former teammate, and he is going to punish him. Chovy gets a bit of revenge from the early game as this inhibitor goes down. And I have a feeling that Gen.G might be able to keep pushing, but they decide instead that they're going to go for a bit of a reset. Uh, you know, they're the ones who traded, right? If you look at the opening for this season, as well, we'll have to talk about later. Yeah, it's a great flash there from Peanut, and goodbye, Valio. So what the heck? Where did that bullet come from? I assume it was Ruler, but I just wasn't ready. Um, as Genji will take down this inner turret, and it's all in a bit of a day's work here. And yeah, you're right. I don't know. It's it, both of these teams playing with suboptimal situations, but I think Nongshim without Kana, who's so important for these guys as well as a bottom lane that hasn't really been sorted out just yet. Um, it's an interesting situation. As Peanut, he's decided that he wants to get underneath the, some Nexus turrets. He is going to be able to do so here. And now Zest just tanking up everyone on Nongshim's side, and the turret does have an E available. Peanut is going to go down as the bullets do slightly go wide here from Ruler. The flash onto Chovy. He's got a couple of these stopwatches. He's got one more. Yeah, doesn't need to use the next one. We'll see when he does actually put that one into effect. 22 stacks on the Magi's, probably wants to go for a bit of a recall now. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Um, grab his health back and does have a teleport to get himself back here as well. But I think this game is well and truly done as there we go, Nongshim gonna be ganking their own Nexus while it does go down. Genji take game number one. And yeah, I just wanna go back to 